We've had so much rain, all of the creeks, the gullies, everything is waterlogged and I can't help but think that there's going to be plenty of worms washing into the system. I'm going to put some worms on and try and catch a trout. Hey you! You are watching Robbie Cocking! We have had so much rain, I'm surprised that the stream isn't higher and dirtier than it is. You can see it has been, it looks like it's come up about two foot higher. There is bound to be lots of worms washing into these creeks at the moment, so I'm fishing with worms. I've got two Janjuk worms on the hook, and I've got a small little split shot just to help me cast, and just to help to get the bait down in the uh, slower pools. Is it biting? Got him. That didn't take long at all. It's a nice little rainbow. There we go. Straight away, instant success. I love fishing with worms after the rain. That's a nice little rainbow. Nice and fat. I want to keep a feeder fish today and I'm worried that if I put this one back I won't get another one. Look, oh, a bit of blood. Ugh. I've dropped it anyway. Look, I think I'll keep this one. I want to keep one. I'll keep this one if I fucking pick the slimy thing up. I'll keep this one. I'll euthanize him now while I'm pointing the camera the other way. There's a nice little rainbow for the pan. Anything else can go back. I've still got a fair bit of the worm on. I'm going to put a, uh, a fresh one on with it. So it's half fresh worm and half old worm. Well, I'm still in the same pool, but I've just moved up right up to where the water comes out from under the culvert there, from under the road. I caught that fish just down there, so if there's another fish up here, there's a fair chance I might catch two in the one pool. Got him! And I did. Ha <laughs> ha! This is probably bigger than the first one, but that's okay. I've kept the other one for a feed, so this one can go back. Lift him out. Ah. He's bigger than the first one, but he's uh, hang on, how deep down he might be gut hooked. He's hooked in the gills. Look, he's, he's in a bit of trouble. This fish, I might get a quick photo of him and then uh, I'll keep that one too. I'll keep two, then the rest can go back. This is a much nicer fish anyway. Would you believe it? He just coughed that hook up. I thought he was hooked too deep and next thing you know, just randomly the hook was in his lip. So yeah, you're going to get a second lease of life, mate. I was going to eat you. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about it. Off he goes. He was hooked deep. I put my finger down and he was down in his gills and I thought, oh, well, I might as well, uh, might as well keep it for a feed. I took my eye off it for a second, turned around and the hook was in his lip. I don't know what happened there. Anyway, two on the board. I'll just throw that same mangled worm in there, although my chances of catching another fish here are probably shot at the moment after just catching two right here right now. Right here on the upstream side of this culvert, there's just a little bit of a backwater there. I wonder if there could be a fish just sitting in there waiting for some food to wash down. There's a bite. Got him. Look at that. There was two. He's a nice fish. Come on, mate. Up you come. We've had so much rain that these trout are just pigging out on worms. He was hooked deep, but I was able to get the worms out once again, so I'm going to put this really lovely fish back. See you later, mate. Right, I've caught three, and I've kept the smallest one. It's not uncommon for the fish to just bite like mad after we get heaps of rain. When there's lots of fresh water and dirty water, it just washes worms into the system out of the paddocks, out of the drains, out of the gutters, and the trout just know to feed on worms when the conditions are like this. And that's what they're doing very well today. Nice looking backwater just there.
you can see the water has been right up over the corner here. You can see where all the grass has been flattened. There's a nibble, there's a nibble, there's a nibble, something's biting. Got him. Oh yes, nice fish. Oh, I've done him. I actually saw him. I got a real quick glimpse. He was right over there against that other bank. My split shot slid down the line a bit. I'll leave it as it is. I'm trying to get this back out in that fish's face again. I felt a fair bit of weight, but he didn't fight, so he might not have realised that it was a fishing line providing that extra. Wait, here's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. Got him. Lovely fish. Come here, mate. Come on. Here they come. Beautiful. Beautiful. He's, he's hooked very deep. That's right down even below the gills. I think I might... Uh, I might keep this one and throw it in the pan with the first one, I think. He's in a bit of trouble, this one. I can't even dislodge that. Right, there's my second trout for the pan. Kept two, thrown two back. Awesome. Fresh trout for lunch. Right, I've caught four and kept two. And this is a nice looking pool. They are just biting like mad today. I don't even think I'll uh, go past this pool. I'm not even going to walk up there. There's no point putting my gum boots on and walking up through the water there. I've got, uh, I've got a feed. I've had a bit of fun. After I finish fishing this pool, I'm going to do a cook up. Trout for lunch. My right, first thing first, I've got to gut these fish. So I'll cut them both open. And I'll rip the guts out. Righto, here we go. There's my trout. I'm going to fill up these trout. It's been years. I can't remember the last time I filled up a trout. Hopefully I can still do it. Now there's my four fillets. Overall I'm quite happy with the way they came out. I butchered them a little bit. It's been years since I filleted a trout. They were easier to skin, to cut the skin off than I remembered. I thought they were harder than that. That was a good thing. But they were harder to actually remove the fillets. But I do remember when I was younger I had one of those, cho those chopping boards with the big clamp on the end. I highly recommend a chopping board with a clamp because they do slide around a lot more than redfin when you fillet them and they're harder to, uh, to hold down and I actually nicked my little my uh, index finger there at one point so yeah try and use a chopping board with a clamp if you can but overall they came up quite well. I'm going to now cut them into uh, probably three bits each then I'm going to crumb them. I'll right, put a bit of water on this plate. I've just washed it. I'm just going to put a bit of water on there so that I can cut the fillets up and just sit them in the water so that I can have a bit of a wash and get nice and wet and sticky. There's my trout all cut up into little nuggets. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put some panko crumbs. These aren't the same panko crumbs that I usually use, but they're the only ones that they had at Coles. I'm going to put some of these into this Ziploc bag, throw these wet little 
nuggets in with the crumbs and just shake it right up. Make sure they're nice and wet and sticky. And into the crumbs. Now I get my crumbs. I don't bother squeezing the air out of the bag because it's okay to have a bit of air in there so they can move around a bit. And do up the zip tie. I give it a shake. And that'll coat all of those fish bits nicely. Now put a bit of oil in here because I'm going to cook them in oil. Make sure there's a full coating. That should be enough. Right, they're burning. They're burning an invisible flame. Righto. If you've never cooked with oil before, just a word of warning, it's very dangerous. So be very careful. Oil gets to a much hotter temperature than what water does. Let's start throwing some of these fish bites in. Put a bit more oil in, I think. If they're looking good, so far my only regret is using panko crumbs. I just haven't stuck to the fish at all. I think in future, if I'm going to use panko crumbs, I'm going to need to use uh, a bit of egg as a binder to keep it to stick to the fish. I think just the regular herb and garlic crumbs, or even just plain crumbs, will be better than panko crumbs for this. Anyway, still looks nice. Well, they look good, but the crumbs haven't stuck too well. There we have it. Panko crumbed trout nuggets on the bank of the creek. Loretta just had a couple of pieces at the car and she says it's really good. I haven't tried it yet. But I'm about to. A moment of truth. That's actually beautiful. Hmm. Very nice. Well, there's none left, so that should tell you something about how it tasted. <laughs> it actually tasted beautiful. It was very, very nice. I think if I'm going to use panko crumbs, I'm going to need to use some kind of binder, like maybe a bit of egg or something to keep it, uh, help it stick to the fish. But taste-wise, it was superb. Trout nuggets, give them a try. They're awesome. Thank you very much for watching.